whenever she sees the water she remembers about her childhood that the water in the well never dries in the same way the struggle for the untouchability will also never disappears the panchamas are the lower caste and here the shudras are the superior people when they want a single drop of water or to satisfy their thirst even then they were not getting the glass of water hello everyone i am babita tamaya lecturer department of english vidyashram pre university college the temple of excellence mysore in my last session i had explained the chapter where there is a wheel in my today's session i'll be taking up the last poem in your syllabus that is poem water by chalapalli swaruparani Chalapalli Swaruparani began writing about her experience and later moved from personal to the social and attained confidence and clarity. Swaruparani written this poem in Telugu language and later it was translated by Uma Prigubanda into English. Moving towards the line and here the few lines is about the discrimination. just has the water knows the grounds incline it knows the generations old strife between the village and the wada like the dampness on the well's edge that never dries it knows that untouchability never disappears in the first line itself you can see that water is personified there is a struggle for water from generation that is from olden days and even now that struggle is still continuing it is even the depth of the well knows the incline that is the struggle for the water the people are still facing it knows the generations old strife it means to say that it is not the present or the past from few generation itself the people are facing this struggle or the a problem where the problem where they are struggling for a small drop of water between the wada and the village what is this wada and the village what is the difference between the wada village is the people that is the superior people who live and wada is the lower class or the dalits here like the dampness on the wells edge that never dries has we all know that the water in the well never dries in the same way the struggle for the untouchability will also never disappears has we all learn in a sociology textbook that there should be no inequality everyone sh should be treated equally each and every one have the equal rights but do we follow that really no it is not from the present generation it is from the past few generation even now it is continuing and the poet says that where the water in the well never dries even the same thing that the untouchability will never disappear from the world the water knows everything it knows the difference of race between the samaria women and jesus the jew it also knows the sub caste difference between leather and spool water knows everything see again i repeat water is personified water knows everything what does it know it knows the difference of race between the samaria women and jesus the jew who are the samarian women that is the samarians jesus the jew it is the jesus christ when she declined to give the water for jesus the jew there was a oppose and it also knows the sub caste difference so each and every religion in that religion they have the different sub caste so as i told there should be no inequality no discrimination in caste or no discrimination in creed each and every one are equal in this world they have equal rights because water is not anyone's property each and every one have the equal rights to use it is the water what we get it is a natural resources so even but even then the dalits or the lower caste people are still struggling for single drop of water it knows the agony of the panchama who not having the right to draw a pot of water 
waits all day near the well with his empty pot until a shudra arrives who knows the struggle for the water that is the panchamas they know they have the agony who the panchamas have the agony here the panchamas are the lower caste and here the shudras are the superior people so if the panchamas wants a drop of water of, or they want to draw a water from the well they have to wait for the shudras they can go near the well and draw the water until the shudra arrives the panchama have to wait for a drop of water it knows the humiliation of the vada girl when he who poured the water from a distance falls all over and touches her again it is a discrimination or a humiliation of a vada girl when they pour water that is the superior people when they pour water they stand for a very long distance and they just try to fill the pot of the vada girl when is filling the pot if the water falls down out of the pot and if it touches the superior people he feels that he is impure so whatever the water remaining in the pot everything will be poured on the girl and the girl is completely drenched and she is dripping it knows the righteous rage of karamachedu suvartamma who opposed the kamma landlords with her water pot when they asked her not to pollute the pond water so here karamachedu suvartamma she herself is discriminated so when she saw a boy who was beaten by the superior people for polluting the water she just raises her voice and she opposed that and what was the reason when they asked her not to pollute the pond water the superior people told not to pollute the pond water you cannot pollute the pond water and if you want water you have to wait for the shudras to give it for you the water is witness two centuries of social injustice the water is witness from centuries it is not the present or the past from centuries it is the injustice with the dalits or with the lower caste people they did not get any justice whenever i see water who is i here that is the poetess whenever she sees the water she remembers about her childhood whenever i see water i remember how many vada which would thirst all day for a glass of water so here the poet is whenever she sees water she remembers about her childhood so here when they want a single drop of water or to satisfy their thirst even then they were not getting the glass of water they have to wait for the shudras or the superior class people to give water for us water is not simply h2o for us water is a mighty moment it is the maha struggle at the chadar tank a single drop of water embodies tears shed over several generations in the many battle we fought for a single drop of water our blood flowed like streams but we never managed to win even a small puddle of water again she says that to tell water it is very simple to say h2o very easy to say h2o but the people of vada they feels that it is a mighty moment water is a mighty moment so to get that water they had a big struggle that is a maha struggle at the chadar tank but they could not win the struggle so during the struggle many shed their life and their blood flowed in the streams but even that they couldn't win the struggle and not even a single puddle of water when i see water i remembered how we how we welcomed our weekly bath has if it was a wondrous festival while the entire village bath luxuriously twice a day again the poet is remember whenever she sees water 
again it's personified i'll repeat it again and again water is personified each and every stanza so here the vada people they would welcome their weekly bath they can take bath once in a week but what about the superior people that is the village people they have their bath luxuriously twice a day not once they have their bath luxuriously twice a day but here the vada people have their bath once a week that is and they feel that it is wondrous like a festival whenever i see water i remember my childhood so now she is remembering about her childhood when we walked miles to reach the big canal and carried back heavy pots with the muscles and veins on her neck straining bursting so she remembers about her childhood what is that she is remembering about her childhood whenever she sees water she remember that they used to walk miles to reach the big canal just to fetch the water they used to walk for a very long distance carry the pots on their head or on their hips and they could have a muscle and the veins pain or the neck straining and bursting i remember it's that roof of flame that malapalli burning to ashes for want of a pot of water she also remembers one of the thing that is malapalli burning into ashes a thatched roof is burning into ashes and they didn't even get a pot of water to a flame it the roof was the the thatched roof was completely burned into ashes water is not a simple thing it can give life but it can also devour life the water that refused to quench parched throat became the killer tsunami wave that swallows whole village and village water is not a simple thing so as i told it can give life it can take life it can save the people it can destroy the people when the people when the person who is not ready to satisfy the thirsty person so the water the nature itself teaches a lesson for that we have a very good example and the best example is the tsunami wave the killer tsunami so as i told that is why we say that water is a savior as well as a destroyer that swallowed the whole village after elate that is the tsunami wave what happened the tsunami wave swallowed the whole village after the village that is the very best example where many of the people lost their lives the poor are but playthings in its vicious hands often it turns villages into dry deserts and sometimes it drowns them in floods the poor are but playthings who is the poor that is the vada people they are poor and it is in the vicious hands that is that it is in the corrupted hands often it turns villages into dry deserts but sometimes it drowns them into floods most of the time during the summer season it might the desert the villages or the streams might be completely dried sometimes during the uh, rainy season it might be or the village might be drowned into floods between the village and the vada between one state and another this water can ignite many struggles and strife it can make blood run in streams but it it can also sit innocently in a slurry bottle so between the village and the vada one state and another what is this it is the struggle for water not only between the village and the vada but even between the state and the another state this has been continuing even now this water can ignite many struggles and strife but they have flooded their blood like streams even then they couldn't get a single drop of water but the water is sitting innocently in the bisleri bottle this water from our village well 
that forces us to do many a circus feat now slowly superstitiously dances its way into the pepsi man's bottle with its new name mineral water it takes to the skies it raises a strong so here this water from our village well not forces that here the people that is the wada people are struggling and uh, striving for the water but here the village people are making a circus to fill the water bottle and it is sold to a multinational commodity where the bislery bottle was turned into pepsi man's bottle and now the new name is known as the mineral water that is the water bottle is nail is label has mineral water it takes to the sky it raises a storm now water is no mean matter it is a multinational market commodity water is no mean matter why it is a multinational commodity so the multinational people are minting money by making the bottle or naming has a mineral water bottle has the say water is omniscient it contains the world has the say water is omniscient what is omniscient it is everywhere who is omniscient here god is omniscient so at last it contains the world what is it water constitute the world each and every one in the world needs water to survive without that it is really impossible to lead our life but even now you can see the people in the village still struggling for this issues that is the water issues so the thing is that there should be equal rights for each and every one in the world to make use of the natural resources with this i have come to the end of the syllabus and now let's see the glossary wada locality where dalits live samaria women benevolent women panchama fifth category in the varna system with this we have completed the syllabus for the year have a good day thank you